1968 part six. We're continuing our playing round lesson on the old course at St. Andrews, or the old lady as she's nicknamed. Now, we're going over the soil can burn off the tee on 18, and uh, you can see the marker post is on line with the flag. Now you've got a very large expanse. You've got all the first fairway. You've got two fairways to hit here, but you do have an out of bounds at the right. Now, the further you go left off the tee, the harder your second shot becomes. So anything that goes between the marker post and the out of bounds right, it's a brave shot, but fortune favours the brave sometimes. And it will depend upon how you've been playing the, the 17 holes prior as to your choice. So, the way I would look at this, I want to hit driver to leave myself a short shot in. So, I would aim at the marker post. Okay. I just go around the circle a bit to my left, I close my stance and I just make sure that I drew the ball. So that's a good example of me panicking. I was not going to go out of bounds. So yes, I've bailed out way, way to the left. I'm now on the path that's called Granny Clark's Wind and I've got a shot in over the Valley of Sin. It's much more difficult. So you can see I chickened out. So let's see if I can have a mulligan. So I'm going to set up normally, go around the circle and I'm not going to chicken out. I'm going to release the draw. So that was a lot braver. I didn't quite get the draw spin I wanted, so I've gone much nearer to the out of bounds than I feel comfortable off the tee. But I haven't got far now to the flag. It's a much easier second shot. So there's lots of history, lots of unique things about St Andrews if you've never been there. But basically the golf course comes right up into the middle of the town. You're going over the Swilkin Bridge and, and the very famous Swilkin Bridge on your right. Hundreds and hundreds of years old and every great player that's ever played the game has walked up that hole. So, make your choice, but just remember, the closer you are to the out of bounds right, the greater the reward for your second shot. So choosing the more coward of the two shots, the one I pulled to the left, I'm on Granny Clark's wine, the road. I don't get a free drop, it's an integral part of the golf course. And now I'm coming at a, an acute angle, and it's hard to see on a screen, but I know and you know that there's the big cavernous valley of sin. So, Key thing is to get the ball up onto the green. If you go too far beyond the flag, you're going to have a very tough putt down towards the front of the green. So you've got to take your courage in both hands. And it's very easy with this shot to have a bit too much spin, land the ball by the flag, and then suck down into the valley of sin. So I'm going to play this shot with draw spin. If I play it with the cut, I think it's going to come back. So I'm going to play a little bit of draw. Go around the circle a little bit, only 140 yards. And for me, that's just a little quiet seven, seven iron. Okay, so there we go. You can see the ball is screwed back. And now I just escaped the Valley of Sin, but I've got quite a tricky two putt or chipping a putt from there. Now, because we're on the simulator, I get a second chance. So, that felt a lot better, split the difference, and hopefully, because I got the right shape on the shot, the ball sat down, but didn't go backwards. So you can see I faded the first one, sat down towards the valley of sin. So, that's why it's a clever hole. When you're coming across at an acute angle, and the valley of sin, you've got lots of different choices, but in the end, you've got to be courageous, you've got to pick a shot, and you've got to go for it. So I'll try it on this one. Straight at it. Well, I'll certainly take that, but you and I both know you don't get three chances when you're on the golf course. <laughs>